Hey guys, Thunderstud here once again talking about a Thunder Dragon's nerf. Now this has got to be the greatest archetype in all of Duel Links because it keeps getting nerfed when it's doing nothing at all. It's that good, guys. It does nothing at all. Not just barely relevant. You just call it competitive. And Konami still nerfs it. Literally just vibing. And Konami still comes for the nerfs. It's our boy's Thunder Dragon. So Konami said level do is too good. We're getting rid of it. And pretty much every Thunder Dragon deck use level dupe it's what makes aloof lupine good aloof lupine is really not that good a card without level dupe it's just a normal rarity and it pretty much deserves that rarity without level dupe i'm probably gonna have to cut it but i can't believe i'm here again having to make a post ban list thunder dragons deck when thunder dragons didn't even run the tournament they're just being themselves and konami just can't let it be so we're here today to give a final goodbye to our level dupe level 6 xc's thunder dragons brought them back they stayed good they stayed under the radar they were good boys but they still got nerfed it's unbelievable guys i, I still can't still can't take it but uh so we'll give them their final goodbye we do some duels obviously we're gonna use level dupe we have glow up bulb for the synchro actions so i mean Thunder Dragons never die. They're, they'll be gone for now in the competitive sense, but they will be back. Konami can't stop them. Konami never even gives them a chance. They don't even get a chance to be OP, but they're gonna do it, Konami. You cannot stop Thunder Dragons. They'll never die. They'll be back, and eventually they'll be stronger than ever. So until then, it's nothing but a memory. So I hope you guys enjoy, and thanks for watching. All right, here we are facing an Odeon. Going second, poor boys on a win streak. Maybe he catches a surrender though, who knows? So we're starting with that aloof lupine. He's probably what's gonna get cut with the uh, level dupe. So we chain to his card of consonants just as a show of power. Now he's going to search some, or uh, show a blue eyes alternative. Does a synchro, goes into a spirit dragon. Now he's gonna bring out another blue eyes, so he thinks he's got a pretty nice field. But we're gonna show him the power of level dupe, guys. Level dupe and aloof lupine. Aloof lupine's gonna banish a dark and a roar. That's going to give us a search and a summon. We're gonna summon another roar. We're gonna search another hawk. Now we're gonna dupe our lupine to eight didn't have to do it that early but now our boy's just like what are you doing you did the lupine to eight how are you looking that far ahead thunder said he doesn't know he doesn't know what's going we're not even going into the m7 we're going into the bouncer now that we have the bouncer out his spear dragon's done for so by confusing him with this eight lupine he thinks we're not even ready to make our plays he's not even thinking about using the spirit dragon now that we have the bouncer on the field it is too late, so I'm able to special summon my duo by banishing two. Now that Aloof Lupine was level dupe to eight, he's a erratic Heliotropist, no Heliopolis. He's gonna destroy these boys. He tries to use the Spirit Dragon now, but it's too late as Bouncer is here. Now we only have to destroy one monster, but he scoops. We could have scooped for him, but he scooped first. Great, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are facing a Seto Kaiba. Going second, he was looking for a rank up and was on the two win streak. That's not the biggest win streak in the world. I think that's actually the smallest win streak you could have by definition. And our boy's showing us what's what by summoning an acid trip, blue eyes, alternative, white, dragon. And that's it. He passes his turn. Very weak field versus the almighty thunder dragon so we're gonna use our darks effect super random bring out our third dark now we're gonna hawk the dark normal summon our glow up bulb that's a bryonic dragon he's gonna be able to throw away another dark get rid of that alternative right back to his hand doesn't really lose anything for him though he could bring him right back we use a glow up bulb gets rid of another gold sark to bring himself out and now we special summon our leviathan 
imagine we can just t attack directly, but imagine we use the Levineer's effect, we could destroy two, then we could synchro into a Vermilion with the Levineer and the Blow Up Bulb, destroy a whole nother one after we sent back as many as we wanted with the Bryonic, and just totally ate them up. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing Yuma and Astral, Astral and Yuma. So likely Anima. So I mean, skill, skills are just done. Skills are just anime RP skills like Ultimate Dragons and Anima. Here are boys running blue eyes on uh, Astral and Yuma, because why not? He's summoning a blue eyes, the acid trip blue eyes. And then he brings out a regular blue eyes. I guess he's glossy. We're gonna start with a normal summon up an aloof lupine. He's gonna start by karma cutting our aloof lupine. Pretty, pretty out there. We're gonna banish a dark and a roar. Roar is obviously gonna give us a special summon, and dark is gonna give us a search. So we're gonna search our hawk. Special summon our roar. Hawk another roar. Then we're gonna go with Bound... No, not Bounds, or M7. Sorry, so look at all the instances of removal we have. We have one with M7, we throw our Blue Eyes back. Oh, oh no, sorry, then we stop our turn. Here's Ghost Stone of Ancients, another Blue Eyes into his hand. Good thing he doesn't have Ultimate Dragons. But he's got a Poly, anyway. Super random. Chooses not to win the duel with the three, or he might not have a Neos ultimate without the skill. Pretty interesting. So he has to go with a Twin Burst and a regular Blue Eyes. Not a lethal amount of damage. We've got a special summon, Elder Vioneer. It's going to destroy two. So the field's already clear, and we banished a Roar, so it's going to be a special summon of a Dark. Hit those two boys. Normal summon. Our Blow Up Bulb. That's uh, Bryonic, we could remove two more if we wanted to, but we don't need to. We could remove three more if we wanted to, I guess. But we don't need to. Now we blow up Bulb. Use that Leviathan since he already used his effect. Now he can attack. That's a lethal amount of damage with our boy having no cards in his hand. But uh, I scoop at the end because I'm trying to rank down, so I gotta just keep scooping. Great, great stuff here. Alright, here we are facing a Tori. Going second. Using Tori Sleeve and Tori Mat. So he's good to go. We have two gold sarks. I don't think we use a single one. So we have our aloof lupine. So we're gonna banish our dark. Banish a roar. It's gonna be a search and a special summon into our opponent's one monster. So we bring out a hawk. Search a hawk. Level D nope. We're gonna hawk out a roar. Now we're going M7. M7 simply returns that monster. We swing, we feel no delay with no delay. We scoop and let them win because I do not need the wins. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Yugi Muto. Yugi Muto going first. No extra deck for a boy. He is using Grandpa's cards. I'm in freaking platinum. I'm trying to rank down for me May, which is right around the corner. But I, I ranked up to platinum. I was so so mad. I did with the Harpies deck, of course, uh, in a Harpies revisit. So um, what we do here? We use our th our Dark's effect, and then we summon that Dark after using uh Gold Sark. Use a Luf Lupine to banish our Dragon's Roar. Here, our boy. Only has the Solemn Wishes, I don't even really feel like doing all the combos just to get a lethal amount of damage on the board, but we're gonna have to. We have all we need, we have Hawks, we have Duos, we got Roars, Special Summoning, we're gonna level dupe our Dark into 6. Goodbye level dupe, RIP, that's gonna be a Bouncer, so now if he has any Kribo or, um, not Kribo, Kiteroid or Bale or something, we could stop him. So we're swinging with our Bouncer, but he has a Sphere Boy, so we can't stop Sphere Boy for some reason. But we can finish him with a lethal, 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 a lethal amount of damage. Either way, still a pretty easy duel for us. But uh, yeah, guys, gonna really miss level dupe. We're gonna have to find all new text. I think you cut level dupe, you cut a loop Lupine, because I really never used a loop Lupine. 
he worked with level dupe he was a great he was the perfect level dupe target and uh now that's gone i like gold sark more i'm gonna have to figure out it's like unnerf gold sark then konami why didn't you give us gold sark back if you're gonna hit level dupe it's i, I just can't believe it the thunder dragons never die guys they'll be back stronger than ever at some point so just wait till then and i hope you guys enjoy